Are the theories and practices. This is an article. I think I could get some good quotes. I can get some background from all these peoples uh, that are are um, are um, famous in in this field. Notice that I can click on any of these to get more information. So. Now I found something I might want to incorporate in my paper. What do I do at this point? What's the best way to handle this? I what I would do suggest doing is I would add it to the folder. I would then go up to the folder and select it. I'd select the article. I would go to the email icon over here. I could say I'm going to put in my email address. Oops. I'm the slowest typer in the world, but that's not important. I over here I'm going to say that I would like to have along with the full text of the article the MLA citation. And a quick note of that um Dr. Dunkel isn't it true that they're going to be needing to know how to do this themselves and not just rely on a pre-made um, citation? Yes, that's very true. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to send this to myself. What I will be receiving in the email, like I said, is the full text and the citation. But just in case you don't have access to the citation, one thing you can do is you can go to the library on our home page we've posted the MLA citation format guide we asked permission from Solano Community College to um, post this on our site this is the best one I've seen it's clear and concise shows you how to do MLA citation and down here you'll notice that there is um, a right here, Bill Bond in the Storm. This is a perfect citation from MLA using the same database, and all the elements are right here. So you'll be able to um, refer back to this. I'm so excited that I had a chance to talk to you guys, and um, I'm always available to you. You can drop by my desk, call me, or email me, and thank you, for Dr. Dunkel.